good evening, Bishop Korean, Sister Shimon, and uh, South Park Church of God, and all fellow ministers and uh, friends. Um, my wife and myself uh, bring greetings from the Tom Church of God Ministries, and especially we would like to congratulate you on your 40th in the ministry. And may continue to God bless you. And uh, Bishop Korean, we obviously, we formally call him Pastor Joe. He's uh, always there uh, for us, especially, uh, I think, out, out of his 40 years of ministry, 25 years with the Tamil Church. <laughs> uh, so it's a similar jubilee for him, for the Tamil Church. Um, and with all the ups and downs, he was there to support us, encourage us. And uh, today, um, we really appreciate all your work. Uh, tirelessly, you have come, come whenever we call you and support us in that, in that difficult time and everything. And may God bless you. And without Sister, Sister Simone and Pastor Joe, we would not be able to do that. And so we really bless uh, you both. And in this God's service, may Lord give you more, many more years to serve God and also the people that uh, that got in his kingdom. Bless you. God bless you. I bring you, great, uh, bring you greetings to each and every one of you on behalf of uh, Bethany Church and a special congratulations to Reverend Joe Korean and Sister Simone for, uh, for the 40 years of excellent and uh, tremendous trialist service to the kingdom of God. And uh, as, of, as I was thinking of this evening and I I thought I'll write a speech, then I uh, went out to my computer and wrote few, and I couldn't uh, really uh, write because you know, there was so much to uh, talk about with Joe Korean, and uh, I, I, then I said to myself, these pages are not enough uh, for me to uh, write. And, uh, but the time is so, so limited, I just wanted to, uh, want to be very short. And uh, our friendship uh, began in, late in 1991, and uh, I came as a student uh, uh, to this country. I was studying in a Bible college. That's how we uh, ended up meeting, uh, Reverend Joe Korean. And uh, as a result of uh, uh, that, and I landed in South Hope and to start a work among the Tamil people. Uh, Reverend, uh, our Bishop Kumar said, you know, 20, almost 25 years, Pastor Joe has spent his time with the Tamil-speaking people. And I believe, uh, and I always say to people, you know, the, when you go to heaven, the Tamil is the official language. <laughs> the reason, because, you know, it's uh, too difficult to learn, and also too difficult to live with people. <laughs> and uh, somehow he put up with us uh, for the last uh, so many years, to almost 25 years, and. Uh, we really appreciate for what you have done uh, for the Tamil-speaking community and Tamil-speaking churches. And um, I had the privilege, uh, in the, uh, like uh, we read in the Bible, uh, Timothy always he followed uh, uh, St. Paul and Pastor Paul. And likewise, uh, I had the privilege to travel with uh, Joe Korean, for, especially in the continent. And uh, every trip I uh, made with him, and I, I always I treasure those trips because you know there was so much to learn uh, from uh, Joe Korean. And, uh, every time I spoke in the meetings, and I admired him, and the way he, uh, the, the, I admired, and I really thank God for raising uh, such a wonderful uh, man of God in our generation, and out uh, especially in this time su uh, such as this, and I. Uh, really admired in the way that God has blessed him and the, give, the wisdom that he has uh, given him and the way he conveyed the message of God so clearly, so easily for each and any, any person can understand it. Especially when he comes to our church, you know, um, always people say, when Pastor Joe speaks, we can understand. Sometimes when we speak, uh, people come to our church, you know, they speak in English, but we find it very, very difficult to understand. But uh, when Pastor Joe, when, when he speaks, everyone was able to understand. So I am so thankful to God for such a, a man of God uh, in, in, in our generation. And I, uh, Pastor Joe, thank you so much 
uh, for what you have done to us and especially in our uh, family you have so blessed us so much uh, almost uh, 15, 20, uh, 15 years you know, I had the privilege to work under you, uh, with you and uh, I cherish all those moments and uh, we thank you uh, and uh, always uh, people say no, every, behind every success of man there is a woman behind it so I thank God for this testimony and uh, for, for your wonderful work and I pray that uh, the Lord will continue to give you strength and the wisdom and that you will continue to live as an inspiration for the generations to come. God bless you. Thank you very much. Greetings in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And uh, congratulations to Bishop Jokurian and uh, Pastor Simon. Uh, I'm so happy to be here today celebrating the 40th anniversary of this church because I'm linked to this church and I'm linked to Bishop Jokurian for many years. And uh, it is such a joy to see a great man of God leading a great church and serving a great God. Hallelujah. Yeah. It, is, it, is, it is awesome. It is uh, to have a church for so many years is a miracle in itself. We thank God. We thank you, sir, for all the hard work you have done. But now, the 40 days of the palace are over. You have to come out of the palace now and in the wilderness for 40 years. <laughs> so, that I mean is palace like it's a small place. And when God put Moses in the, in the wilderness, it's a huge territory the Lord gave him. And that's what we mean, that not taking your comfort away from you, but giving you more place to serve the Lord. And God will surely do that. And we are with you. And we really appreciate from, from myself, my wife, and all the Slough Church of God. We, we love you, and we are praying for you. So may God bless you, and we are praying for you. Thank you. I really thank God for this great opportunity to stand in front of you. Um, once again, I congratulate Pastor Jokurin and the family on behalf of our church. A um, couple of things I like to say. Many of the Christian characters, I believe, he inherited from his father. According to my understanding, his father was a great man of God from Kerala. Today I was speaking to someone and uh, he was saying about his father. I was so thrilled. Uh, that's one of the best qualities which he inherited from his family. I really praise God for the, the great supernatural inheritance in his, upon his family. And a uh, few years ago when I landed this country, the first pastor I met on the same day, that is Pastor Joe Kurian. And uh, we had the opportunity to work with in uh, Malayali Pentecost Association for a couple of years. And uh, uh, moreover, we had uh, many opportunities to travel um, um, different parts of, the, parts of this country. And uh, whenever I travel with him, I ask many questions, as Pastor Satya has, has said, mentioned early. Um, because as a long-term uh, business in the God's ministry, I know he's quite able to answer the many of the questions which I asked. I was so thrilled the many of his valuable answers which I asked while I was traveling with him to Liverpool and Manchester and some other parts of the world, uh, parts of this country. Recently, I was reading a story of a sister, a lady who traveled to India in the 18th century. Maybe some of you have read about her story through Daily Bread. And uh, she left England mid of 80s, 1800. And she came with her husband to India, one of the remote villages. And she worked very hardly with her husband. In 10 years time, she lost her husband. So her children thought she will return back to England. But she said, I'm not going to return back. At the age of 55, she had a, she had a fall from the horseback and she had severely 
injury is in her uh, hip. So her son came from England to see her and uh, he said, Mother, you had a lot of good opportunities in this country, so you need to go back. So they arranged a farewell, farewell ceremony in, in India and uh, finally she, she said, Thank you so much for your words, but I'm not going, going back to India, going back to London. <clears throat> and she again spent her uh, another five years in wheelchair and uh, in horseback. At the same time, she had, a, she had a half a paralysis because of her fall. At the age of 95, uh, people thought she will go return back to India. And uh, at the age of 95, one of the statements which I read, I was so encouraged. She never returned and she got graduated. I was so impressed when I was reading that, uh, that story about the, it was a life story recently I read. At this point, I pray that you are not going to return. And I pray that as a family, I really pray that uh, God will use you, use you very mightily and powerfully. Uh, and uh, I believe the wonderful and powerful years that are to come in your life. May the Lord bless you. <laughs> Praise God. Greetings to your brothers and sisters. I'm so glad to participate in this marvelous event. I pray and I thank God for this wonderful event. I respect so much Pastor Joe Korean. I'm a Timothy. He's like a poor. Before 10 years, I was in this country like a believer. I didn't have any call for ministry. But when I met Pastor Joe Kurian, he encouraged me and uh, helped me to become a minister in his vineyard. I'm so glad in this event, I believe that by God willing another 40 years, no, 50 more, you will work hard for this for his kingdom in this country. When I received this invitation, my daughter asked me, Dad, I thought, Pastor Joe Kutin is only 45 <laughs> because he's so handsome. <laughs> he's... I told her, don't worry, he's not much aged. <laughs> it's a pleasure for us to receive like a good pastor. He's not only a pastor of South Church of God. He's a pastor of pastors. He's a minister of ministers. He's a leader of UK and many other countries. God has blessed this land with many gifts. I believe Pastor Joe is a great gift from God to this country. Many pastors and ministers are bound with many barriers like language, culture, denomination, etc., etc. But whenever I think about Pastor Joe, he has overcome all the barriers like cultures, language, denomination, spirit. God has given him a great gift to overcome like bondages. I take this time to congratulate you representing Malayali Pentecostal Association, Association MPA UK. Pastor Jokurian is a Malayali. You don't speak much Malayalam. <laughs> Malayali Pentecostal Association, MBA UK, have more than 100 ministers, more than 100 churches. Since 10 years, I think more than 10 years, Pastor Joe is leading that fellowship, that congregation in a successful way representing MBA. I take this time to congratulate you more and more to work hard for this, uh, for this, uh, for his uh, kingdom. May God bless you more, bless your family. God bless you.